Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today in this episode, I'm really excited to be able to demonstrate Total Replay, which is a hard drive image that was demonstrated by Mark Pilgrim at Kansas Fest 2019. Total Replay takes a stack of your favorite Apple II games and turns it from this into this. So let's get started. At Kansas Fest 2019, Mark Pilgrim gave a demo of Total Replay. Total Replay is actually a joint effort between 4AM and Cucumba, or Peter Faree. You can download the game on archive.org, and I'll have a link in the show notes. It is available for any Apple IIe, as long as you have 64K of memory. If you have 128K, then you can also play the games that require that much memory. It also takes into account whether you have a joystick or not. And finally, it's open source, and you can actually get to the code on GitHub. 4AM and Cucumba have created a single Protoss image which contains all of the game images. They've also extracted screenshots from each game that can be used during the attract mode when it's cycling through. And finally, Cucumba created a fast bootloader so that it starts up right away and goes straight to the main title screen. I've taken the disk image from the Internet Archive and I've loaded it onto Kaboo HK's W drive. And I'm also using the soft SP card so that I can go ahead and boot that on my Apple IIe. You can actually use the total replay disk image with any sort of hard drive that will boot a 2MG image. So for example, you could use the CFFA 3000, the floppy emu, or here the W drive. So once it starts up, you can see there's this screen here which has little tiny images of some of the games that are available. Down here it tells you that there's 203 games that are possible. If I unplug the joystick here, then that would actually decrease the number of games that are available. If we wait a few minutes, it'll switch to the attract screen where it'll show little thumbnails for all of the games. If you're actually interested in a particular game, you can start typing the letters of it. So C, for example, Starts out with Conan, I hit H, narrows it down to Choplifter. So, and then if you just hit return, it'll go ahead and load that particular game. Then we'll just reboot to get back to the main screen. So if we use the arrow keys, we can actually just browse through everything. So Agent USA, Earhart, Alcazar, Alien Ambush, Alien Downpour. That's actually a new game. There's Alien Rain. Here's Zaxxon. I just got to that by typing the letter Z. It's great to be able to play Apple II games on the original hardware using floppy disks. However, if you don't have 200 unique Apple II games or you don't have a working Apple IIe or a floppy drive, it's a lot easier to be able to load up the Total Replay disk image and have all of those games at your fingertips. I also really like how it detects whether you have 64K or 128K and whether you have a joystick or not and it'll only show those games that are compatible with your hardware. I'll have the link to the Total Replay disk image at the Internet Archive in the show notes, and I'd strongly encourage you to go over there and download it and try it out. Thanks for watching.